Okay. So in our entire life, we have always struggled, but there might be some technique that makes maths learning faster, right? You might have also wondered, like, maybe there are some technique that in which there are easy ways to learn maths, and there are faster ways to learn maths. So let us start with it, and let me tell you some important things actually which you should keep in mind while studying maths, while learning maths. But when it comes to learning certain things properly, like there are no shortcuts, right? Especially in maths, there are no shortcuts. But we can somehow enhance our capability to basically learn a particular concept or basically learn some formulas or whatnot. So let's start with it. The very first thing which we have, right, is what? Okay. So basically, first of all, which is really important, Ma'am, ah, we are learning this concept. Is this actually going to help us in our lives? So there are many. I will say there are most of the chapters in mathematics which are actually interlinked and related to your day-to-day -day concept. Like, for suppose, if you want to relate arithmetic progression to your day-to-day -day lives, you can take the example of the taxi. You can take the example of increment in your salaries or whatnot. If you want to actually calculate the height of a tall building, Qutub Minar, Burj Khalifa, what not? So what you will do? You can use trigonometry, actually calculate the height of any of the building or tower or what not. So basically these things are actually important to apply in day-to-day -day lives to actually make maths relatable and make maths learning faster. The next thing which we have over here is create a distraction-free environment. Most of the people say that listening to music actually while solving some can it might help to some, but not to everyone. But to create a distraction-free environment is a must. To distract, you get distracted with the noise, with the sounds, or with the television. Like some of the people have a habit of eating and studying. Some of you might have a habit of watching television and studying. Might work with some or the other subjects, but no, no, that's. So what you need to do, you need to build and create a total distraction-free environment where you can peacefully study math and actually concentrate to the higher levels. The last thing which I want to tell you that is use technology. Now you all know that virtuality shows reality now an old saying. But here what we have is what we see, we actually remember that for a longer period of time. This is something which we edtechs and edtech platforms do that to show you things virtually so that you can actually keep all those things sustained in your mind for a longer period of time. Understanding concepts with the technologies, with the animations and whatnot will actually and actually makes it easier for you to understand, to build and to create a concept inside your head and actually makes it to you know, stay there for a longer period of time. So please use all the technologies which are available to actually build the things inside your head and to make them go there for a longer period of time. So these are certain things which you can keep in mind for studying maths in the nearby future. And I hope you conquer all your exams and tests.